Well, after ranting about Viacom CBS. He now goes goes on and, and apologizes to the uh, Jewish community by saying, first and foremost, I extend my deepest and most sincere apologies to my Jewish sisters and brothers for the hurtful and device words that came out of my mouth during the, my interview with Richard Griffin. They reinforced the worst stereotypes of a proud and magnificent people, and I feel ashamed of the unformed and naive place that these words came from. The, the video of this interview has since been removed. While the Jewish community in Spirius encompasses more than 5,000 years, there is so much I have yet to learn. I have had at least a minor history lesson over the past two days, and to say that it was eye-opening would be a vast understatement. I want to express my gratitude to rabbis, community leaders, and institutions who reached out to me to help align me instead of just me. I want to ensure my Jewish friends, new and old, that this is, this is the only beginning of my education and I am committed to deeper connections, more profound learning, and strengthening the bond between our two cultures today and every day going forward. Well, he definitely didn't have to, really. He really didn't have to. Of course, he talks with the rabbi. Part one and part two. He now did it. I mean, I gotta give him props for that. I really got to give him props for that. Because now, his future with the Masked Singer is still at stake. But I think Fox would be keeping him. So, you know, as long as Nick, Nick Ken doesn't do anything else that will actually go too far. I'm all for it. Like, really. I'm all for it. Like, as long as he himself seriously stops trying to Blamed by him CBS for his own actions. Because at the end of the day, you're just an employer and you have to take responsibility for your actions. And the fact that you now are trying to make amends by inviting the rabbi Abraham Cooper on your podcasts, hopefully things will go into a different turn as you, Nick Cannon, understand what's behind it. 